Now, once we have talked about conditional statement, in fact, in that we have talked about if, and then we have also seen how do we use if else, and then we have worked with if else if. Now, for certain use case, we have a shortcut for it, and it is called a ternary operator. Now, if you want to use if else on the same line, or if you have a shorter condition, and if you can write out that on one line, why not? So what I'm saying is, let's say if you want to check if a given number is even or odd, how do we do it? It's very simple. What you do is you, uh, first of all, you take a number, let's say the number is four, and if I want to check if this is even or odd, so using if else, how you do it is we say if, and we check for the condition, if n mod two is equal to equal to zero, that means it's an even number, right? So what you do is, you come back here and you can you don't need curly brackets because I want to write only one statement and I want to store that in a variable. Now basically we can use a boolean type here or we can use a string as well. So let's say I'm using a string, okay? And based on this string, or maybe let's let's keep it simple. So what I will do is I will not print even odd. What I want to do is I want to set the value which is in x or maybe I will put that in result and I want to put the result by default result will be zero. But based on this, if the number is even or odd, I want to set the value for result. If the value, if the value is even, I want to set the value for result as 10. If the value is, let's say, uh, odd, I want to set the value for result as 20. Okay, so for even it is 10, for odd it is 20. How do we do it? So in the if condition you can do, you can say result is equal to 10. So if that's an even number, you will say result equal to 10 and if in the else part, you can set result as 20. So what we are doing here is based on some condition, I'm assigning a value. Now this is one way, and of course at the end, I can print the value of this as well. I can say, I want to print result, nothing fancy, okay, simple stuff. And then I want to compile this and run. So I will say Java C demo dot Java and Java demo. And you can see the output is 10. Why the output is 10 is because the four here is an even number. What if you make it five? Now we are making it odd, right? So I can just go back here, compile run, you can see we got 20. So this is working. Now what you can do is you can convert this code into something called a ternary operator. Now how it, how it works? Let me just come in this section. See, ultimately what we are doing is we are saving the value in result variable. Uh, in both the thing, we have the same thing, right? If it is if is it true, then we will set the value for result. If it is false for the else part also with a result. So can we do this? Can we say result is equal to? The result can be 10 or it can be 20, right? But how will you do it? How will you check for the condition? So what you can do is you can directly run a condition here. So you can see if n mod 2 is equal to equal to 0. If this is true, then we have to do something or we'll, or we'll do something. So we can use something called a ternary operator here. Now how it looks like, so ternary operator looks like this. Let me just write that in comments. So we have to use a question mark and a colon. So what is this question mark and colon? So whatever condition you have, it might return a true or false. So you can put a question mark, you can ask, hey, is it true or false? If it is true, then execute the part which is after the question mark, which is 10. If it is false, you have to execute or you have to take the value, which is after the colon, okay? I will just give a space here so that it will be much more readable, right? So what we are doing is we are saying for this condition, if this is true, in that case, return 10. If this is false, in that case, return 20. So you can see out of all these four lines of code, we are doing that in one line with the help of ternary operator. Of course, it is not suitable for every if else. It's not like you will say, hey, from now, I'm not going to use if else. That's not, that's not the case. This is suitable for some examples. This here, it makes sense because uh, we have a very sh short assignment and ultimately you're assigning value to result. So this makes sense. I can just compile and run. You can see we got 20 because the value is odd. But if you make the value as even, let's say four again. And if I compile and run, you can see we got 10. So this is how you can basically use a ternary operator. Now, if you remember we have uh, used if else, if you can also do that here, I would request you to try that, put one more condition here and try it out for multiple use cases. So that's it from this video, uh, which where we talked about ternary operator.